Today we're gonna to show you how we lay some paint down here at Newman Tractor. Today we're still working on our terror wrecks. We're getting down to the final stages and now we're uh, taping off, uh, taping off masking. We wanna make sure everything's taped off tight. That way every spray isn't getting in. It just makes the machine look so much better. Paper over plastic any day. I know it takes a little more time, but it'll pay off in the end. Paper breathe. If you use plastic, it holds the solvents in. The next thing you know, every wrinkle in the plastic is in your paint. That's why we tape off as clean as we can. And plus makes the machine the paint job look a lot better. So you learn some stuff back here, guys. You're, you're learning all kinds of stuff. When you're using your stir, your stir sticks, you want to make sure uh, they're, uh, they got Thompson water seal on them. Because when you stick them down there, if they don't have a Thompson water seal on them, they're going to start shredding apart in the paint. It's going to be on your paint job, like a wood grain in your paint job. So that's something you want to stir away from. This one, I mean, it's been water sealed, so we, we can't use that one. <laughs> seal on our Terex here and as you can see we have primer spots so what we're going to do is lay down a good coat of white sealer so it'll help us with our base coat. We're going to start from the front, work our way back. As you can see we got a cross flow booth. The air intakes at this end, the exhaust is at that. So that way, me and Kenny are not fighting each other with overspray the whole job. We'll come in with a first coat, uh, and cut everything in, then we'll, we'll come back with a coat number two, and then that'll be our tiny coat. When you're mixing the paint, you want to spin it, you want to uh, rotate it up so 25 times to the left and 28 to the right. But the paint, it, in, in, instead, of, in, instead of being right here balanced, it's off kilter. It's there. If you get your level. You can buy um, snap on guy comes, I'm sure he comes to your local shop. He has real nice levels on there for about 700 bucks. Oh my God, what I've always wanted. So we're getting ready to apply our decals to our Terex. And I use two inch, three quarter inch tape for guidelines to center up my decal. And we also use a soapy water solution so the decal doesn't stick to the panel. You can finesse it and move around and get it right where you like it. And then take your squeegee, get all your air bubbles out. That helps it adhere nice and smooth to the panel. Oh, Y'all, you did good, guys. You're, you're the man. I'm just gonna stand here and stand tall and proud right next to you. Yeah. Hell yeah. Clark, you wanna do one? Well, I'm on one. You're, you're gonna do a, a final touch down. Okay, I'll do it. Uh, Got that old heap done. Yep, what's up? Uh, you can tune in at NewmanTractor.com and just uh, follow our journey, but we appreciate everyone following along and we're on to our next project. For any of your body and paint work needs, please visit us at NewmanTractor.com. If you like hanging out with us, like, share, and subscribe.